All right, what a glorious day to talk about all things anabolics. A week and a half ago, I received the order list of what I'm gonna be taking for this period of the beginning of prep. Prep doesn't officially start now, it's more like the four week lead up to the beginning of the dieting phase. But the anabolics are pretty much the exact same, the only thing that is different is the caloric intake and sort of my training a little bit. So the goal for the next four weeks starting today, because this is the first day that we're actually going to start the new anabolic regime, this marks the beginning of my four week growing phase before the diet starts for my pro debut. <sighs> Exciting times, I'm feeling very ready for it because I've been pretty much natty on TRT for the last 13 slash 14 weeks now. My face is leaned up, which I'm not too mad about because I feel like I'm, I don't know, more attractive because obviously when you're blasted a bunch of stuff, your water retention is high, you look a bit more like this. So I'm ready to feel stronger. I'm ready to start to look bigger. Mental clarity is at an all time high. So eventually it's gonna slowly fade away and I'm gonna be massively depressed again at some point. Personally, I couldn't feel more mentally ready for this and I'm very excited to see what the next four weeks are going to hold. Been on my own for the longest time. Alright, so this is my current morning body weight at 245.6 pounds. Sometimes it's a pound down, sometimes it's a pound up. This is my homeostasis right now and has been for the last like you know couple weeks. It has decreased quite substantially since the peak of my bulk, which was about 260 pounds. The previous stack was of course the reason my weight was so much higher, and obviously coming back to a baseline of TRT was the reason it slowly dropped off. But the one compound that was like most of the reason it was so high was this, and it's Lantus insulin. It's essentially slow releasing insulin, and I was taking 10 IU every single morning. It's very strong, it's very potent. It's not something I would recommend anyone take unless you are trying to be a pro or at least at pro status. Everything insulin, everything G H like combining them both together is almost like the dark arts of bodybuilding and I would recommend staying away from it. Everything I'm going to talk about in this video is obviously based on my protocols and for research purposes for yourself. Please do not copy anything I do. Physique wise, I'm relatively happy with the starting point. I've did have like a proper physique update in the last video, but here's what I'm looking like this morning. So this is the baseline starting point of what I look like currently and yeah if anybody tells you that going to the gym is going to make you a lot more confident and love your physique and you're going to be so like you know internally happy to a certain extent is true but then after a little while it's an absolute lie because the bigger you get and the more like pressure you put on yourself to look a certain way or to be a certain way the more unhappy you are so even when you don't look half bad even though you look kind of bigger than 99% of the entire population on the planet you still feel like a tiny little man not complaining I am of course relatively happy with the this current standpoint, but I'm gonna be even happier when I see the changes over the course of the next four months, all the way up until December 9th, which is gonna be the show day. Right now we're gonna put some clothes on and head out for a morning walk with Sky. Let's do an audible, get the mind right for the day, and then we're gonna come back, make some breakfast, show you something that I'm very, very, very excited about that is dropping on the 14th of August, so in like just under a week. And then we're gonna break down the current stack that I'm gonna be starting this growth phase with. You've been waiting for ages. Forgot to mention, my apologies, I completely forgot to say what's going on guys. Brandon Hyden here, hope you're having a great day. We are currently about one week into our move to Canada. We haven't been going on these walks every day, but on the days that we have, they have been quite lovely. Sadly, the weather isn't the same as it was when we did move here, sunshine and rainbows. It was raining yesterday, and it's looking like it might potentially rain again later today. Are you still uh, happy, happy, happy? Happy, happy. <laughs> I'm confused whether that was happy or just like a cry for help. Also, I wanted to take the time to say welcome to anyone that's new here to the channel. The channel is growing at an exponential rate now. We're almost on I think 800,000 subscribers. Currently, last time I checked, we're on 785, which blows my mind because recently we're on 690K, like a week and a half ago. So, welcome if you are new, and I hope you're excited for the new series that will be starting in about three to four weeks in the first week of September, which is going to be Hard Body Shredding 2023 Road to Pro Debut. The amount Sky is panting right now is going to be very reminiscent of me when I start doing cardio at the start of prep, just absolutely cooked. <laughs> Get some more cardio. I've never seen a happier face in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell? It's really nice now that we can be here with Sky because for a little bit of context who Sky is, Geordie's dog of five years old, obviously she got her five years ago, but being a terrible dog mom, when I convinced Geordie to move to the UK, she left Sky here to be looked after by her mom. Multiple reasons why, obviously one being the place that we had in the UK was extremely small, and I think keeping a dog in a small enclosed space isn't really fair on the animal. Linda was gonna be left completely alone, so keeping a little bit of Geordie to keep Linda company was the, what, the most important thing. But of course, I would love when I'm settled down, we have our own house, we have our own place, where I would love to get my own little dog. I say little, I kind of want a big dog because I grew up with bigger dogs. And we are back home. I'm gonna run upstairs real quick, get the stuff I gotta show you. You might be quite surprised as well how little I'm actually taking to start this off. Like we are gonna incrementally increase like as the months go on. But to start off baseline isn't really that crazy. And before we talk about that stuff, there is three things I gotta show you. All right, so bagged and tagged and ready to go. These are brand new and they are dropping on the 14th of August. We have new bags, we have new tags, and of course we have new t-shirts. Jordy's gonna be passing me them and reviewing them as well. The bags are reusable and they have a breathable hole at the bottom. I'm not sure which one this one is, but each t-shirt has a different design. There is three designs in total. They are oversized, boxy fit, acid wash finish. These are the tags, one with a three piece design. So we got a clear one at the front, then we got hard body, the company name, and then the mission statement just behind it. I've always believed that the small details matter the most. But this is the T. The front has hard body in Japanese with the word hard body underneath. On the back of the main event is the Prince Rising Warrior. You may know the character and he's wearing a hard body belt and hard body wrist straps each design is complete with like wearing hard body products the detail that's been put into these prints is absurd the feel of the shirt is like thick high quality it's not yeah. too thick where you'll be sweating your ass off but it's really proper quality and i love that it's like a full acid wash with a little bit of deterioration on like the cuts it yeah. makes it look really cool and like rustic so yeah. i love that it's like that vintage feel in a way so this is design number one now i'm going to show you the other two this one is, oh my God. I just can't believe it, it's so good. This one is Prince of Crows. If you watch any of these animes, you'll know exactly why it's called Prince of Crows. Beautiful design. At the bottom of his cloak, it says hard body in Japanese again, and he's wearing a pair of wrist straps. Prince of Crows is done. This one could potentially be my favorite and you'll see why. He's wearing a hard body belt and he is deadlifting 4,000 pounds and it is called Sun of the West. Everything is custom made by myself. As you can see, there's a fat hard body logo in the back, which is almost like the sun. There's a long Forrest Gump-esque road. So much of what this anime is based on is like such a long journey and it symbolizes like the road to success. Which one is your favorite? Oh, I definitely like your favorite. This one's yeah. my favorite because it's really epic. It gives me like Stranger Things vibes, yeah. energy, anime based. It's the perfect vintage tea and I think it's absolutely epic. And also like it, my goal is to deadlift 4,000 pounds, you know? Oh, of course, yeah. Well, they actually drop at 6 p.m. UK time, one EST and 12 CST. I actually don't want them to sell out because I want five of each. All right, so the time has come. I feel like an absolute flaccid penis right now doing this with no pump without a shirt on. But the shirt that I had on originally stinks and I'm not gonna wear any of the anime t-shirt stuff because of the fact that I wanna shoot it and have it not smell like me right now. I should probably shower before we go to the gym so I smell kind of nice and I don't gas everybody in the gym. But right now, the time has come. I got my phone and all of this stuff that I'm going to be introducing into my system as of today. Obviously, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is purely for educational purposes. Like, please don't take this information and do it yourself. But right now, we're going to break down everything I'm going to be currently taking anabolic-wise to start off the growing phase of this season. I'm going to pull up my messages with Callum and break down the entire list. This is PDs slash injectables. So we're going to be starting off with the good stuff. We're going to be starting off with 400 milligrams of testosterone and nanthate. Testosterone is the baseline of pretty much all of my on-season, off-season, season cycles. I just ran 150 milligrams of testosterone and anthate every single week. We're going to be bumping that up now to 400. This is the baseline. So we're going to be beginning here. It will probably increase to 500 or 600 over the course of the next four months, but we're going to be starting off at 400. Next we have Primo. That is also starting at 400. Primo I'd like to keep relatively low considering I just got a hair transplant and I don't want Primo to go to like a thousand milligrams just because I will probably lose my hair it's not that great for hair loss so we're going to keep that like in a relatively happy place so 400 same as test and we're also doing mastron and nanthate as well which is also going to be at 400 milligrams so essentially we are at 1200 milligrams each week 
as injectables at the moment. We're breaking that up into injections on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're gonna be having 100 tests, 100 Primo, and 100 Mastron four times a week to accurately break it up. Injectables based on studies are a lot more effective if you have them evenly dosed throughout the week. If you could inject in micro doses every single day, it would be a lot more effective for your body and your body would be able to regulate it rather than your blood levels like spiking and going down, spiking, going down. It's a lot more effective, but honestly, like I don't, want, I don't really wanna jab myself 14 times a week. Splitting it up into two jabs each day, four times a week is a lot like more tangible in my eyes. Now we're gonna move over to the list of orals and ancillaries. First off, we have GH. So four IU every single day, broken up in between two IU in the morning and two IU at night. I have gone ahead and ordered some of the highest grade GH that you can get, which is Genitro, Pfizer, 36 IU preloaded pens. I didn't wanna get like underground stuff. Like believe it or not, like for the longest time, actually forever, I've never done a prep or an off season with pharmaceutical grade GH. I was always cheap and got the underground GH, which is basically like a vial of powder you mix with this water and essentially like you blend your own GH. Never used Pfizer before, so I'm actually very excited to do a prep for the first time. I thought it was time to invest and actually take some really, really good stuff. Considering the fact this is gonna be the pro debut, I would like to make sure that I'm having the best stuff. It's not cheap. 10 pens has set me back about 2,000 Canadian dollars, which is about 1,300 pound for about 12 weeks worth of GH. So basically like three months is 1,300 pound. And that's not including anything oral. That's not including any of the other injectables. That's only the growth hormone. This is why it's hard to run pharma grade stuff all year round because you'll be literally spending like five grand on just GH. Next on the list, we have Proviron. This is gonna be 25 mg per day. Then we have Telmosartin with the last meal. This is gonna be 20 mg per day. And then 500 mg of Metformin with also the last meal. So Telmosartin and Metformin is with the last meal. And then Proviron is with the first meal. Hey. Hi. I'm just talking about my stack. Do you want to join? All the drugs. Now I'm making us food. When are you going to start your stack? I'm going to start in 15 next week. Geordie is the biggest fake natty on the planet. Geordie like admitted that she was on stuff. I've never claimed to be natural. Yeah, but there's a lot of people currently in Canada <laughs> competing in natural shows that aren't natural. Personally, wouldn't do it. I think it's very morally wrong, but people in Canada don't seem to give a shit. They're assholes. It's a recent thing. Like there's basically just people at Pure Muscle and Fitness that like there's a couple people that train there and they're getting a lot of heat right now because they're actually like competing in natural shows and they've spoken about the stacks they've done in the past. I'm not gonna name any names. I don't wanna get involved, but I do think it's very morally wrong. Personally, I would never do that. I've never done that. I've never claimed natural. I've always been unnatty in shows. The first show I ever did, I was unnatural and it was not a tested show. We are trying to be as honest as possible. And like I said, please don't take this information and do it. That is my starting stack. It will increase, other things will be introduced, but this is by no means a crazy stack. I have seen worse, I have seen smaller, and I'm very excited to see what is going to happen to the physique. Now we're gonna get ready and go to the gym. So the next clip you'll probably see will actually be at the gym because we need to get it done before it gets too late. What's up, it's back day. We just got to the gym, gonna make a pre-workout right now. The new hard body shaker that is dropping on the 14th of August. So for the pre-workout, we're having one scoop of the Wrecked in Rage by Huge Supplements. Chaotic Cherry. Today's been a heavy work day in terms of like everything I've been doing at my laptop. I feel like my brain is actually going to fall off because of how much we've done. We're gonna start off the workout with a prime lat pull down to just like open up the lats and warm up our back. And then we're gonna move over to some barbell bent over rows. It gives me a sick excuse to use the new lever belt that's coated in the anime stickers that are dropping. My lever belt is fully decked out. We've got like pretty much all the stickers. We've got a muscle mommy one right there. <laughs> what did you say? I said you think the stickers are really good. Oh, they're fucking dope. It comes in a pack of 10, so you get all of them. Even if you want one, you can have all of them. <laughs> Warming up on the lap pull down, like everyone else. We're all the same. We're all the same. I'm just a simple guy trying to build some muscle. Number one goal with this exercise is to not crease the Jordans. Especially if you wear nice shoes in the gym. Where else would you wear nice shoes? I have no idea what's gonna happen right now considering the fact that I've not barbell bent over road for a minute, so we're gonna see how it feels. We're going with the over grip today. All right, let's see how two feels. Oh. 
two and a half. Okay, that was heavier than I wanted. We're gonna do one more of those, then a back off set, and then move on to a T-bar row just down there. T-bar row. I gotta work on my forearms. They're so skinny. Honestly, like when I do that, I'm like, my forearms are like toothpicks. I get comments as well, they're like, bro, work on your forearms. It's because my biceps and triceps are that big that it makes them look small. three plates let me know in the comments if you're actually enjoying these videos because they're so much easier to film rather than having to like worry about who's filming what what's going on i can just set it up on a tripod concentrate on the workout because if not i'll obviously just like hire a videographer and like do it like that right i'm kind of testing like how i'll film the prep series because obviously i want to like make it the best prep i've ever had being the pro debut and if you think it's fucking shit then also tell me <sighs> 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 It's crazy how like this machine is quite light, like three plates. It doesn't actually feel like three plates. It's kind of light. You just have to kind of lean forward into it and like refrain from like pushing back. If you keep yourself forward and only use your lats, it's fucking sick. Oh. How sick is it? It's the sickest machine ever made for back. I think it's really good. Maybe not the one, best one ever, but. And four really enjoy training at this gym it's crazy how like all it takes is kind of like a shift in life like a like where you live like where you're not happy like i'm not saying we wasn't happy in the uk it's just that relative to the amount of like opportunity there was and like friends we had and i guess like the apartment that we had like because we lived there for like two years the fact that it was just like one tiny little box around all these students and like like construction noise and someone drumming and then like someone else screaming and then some guy one time was like threatening to like jump out the window and him and his girlfriend were like arguing for like seven hours on the night time like all in all we're really enjoying canada so far Come on. okay good night see you in the morning <laughs> What is this stance? What is she trying to escape? Cuddle me! Save me! <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. Obviously, it was about breaking down my current stack and everything I'm currently taking. I'm gonna say it again, don't copy me, please. It's literally just for educational purposes and I hope that you enjoyed the video. And now we are at an understanding and I'll probably make updates every single time there is an update to my stack. It's gonna be even more in depth. You'll see literally everything that's changing bi-weekly, bi-daily if something does change. And I can't wait to take you along for the ride. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe if you turn on post notification because it really helps the channel grow drop a comment down below because obviously that helps the freaking algorithm i will see you guys in the next video peace